Hi there, this is Officer Sid Santos with the Colorado Springs Police Department Crime Prevention Team coming to you with a Crime Prevention Thursday. Uh, we'd like to come to you with some information about safety. Uh, today we're going to talk about locks on your home, front doors. Uh, one of our concerns is, is we get burglaries of homes where somebody illegally enters your home and they go through the front door. Uh, the first thing that we want to remind you to do is to make sure you actually lock the front door. We've actually had cases where the person has just opened the door, walked in, and then um, taken items from the home. The other thing that we'd like to do is make sure that you have good quality products that you use. Uh, generally speaking, we like to say that you get what you pay for, so make sure that you get some good quality things. Um, right here is an example of a, a single cylinder lock, and, and the description that I have here is on one side you actually have a key, a key that could actually be used to un unlock it, and the other side is a latch that you can move over. Uh, and this would be fine on a, on a home door that has something like a solid core door, no windows nearby. But something that you might want to think about is actually having one that has this on the inside as well. And then you keep the key, key uh, nearby, something that couldn't be gra grabbed um, if there's a window or a, uh, off to the side or a window in the door. Um, you know, if, you're, if you have that, the window, make sure that you have this so that somebody can't break the small window. Uh, reach, reach around and then just unlatch it like that. Um, again, talking about the quality of it, make sure that you have a one inch throw so that it goes into the, the frame of the, the door and it doesn't actually slip out or somebody be able to break through easily. Um, and then on the other side of the throw, you want to make sure that you have, uh, I would say a, generally speaking, a three inch screw, but if you have to go a little bit shorter, this is a two and a half inch screw. Um, and make sure that it goes into the frame so that if somebody were to kick the door, they actually have to try to uh, fight against the framing of the house and not just the framing of the door. Uh, so this will actually uh, prevent uh, doors from being kicked in uh, more so than a uh, shorter screw that typically comes, and usually those are about a three-quarter inch screw um, there. Uh, something else to think about is if you have a lot of people who are inside your home, uh, especially kids, and they're going to go to the park, they're going to go do something, play with their friends, ride their bike, and you don't want them to have a key because they might lose it, misplace it, it would be better to have something like this where you actually have a keypad um, so everybody in the home knows that rather than leave it unlocked for people to come and go as they, they need to. Um, you know, some apartments, if you have uh, multiple people, that again, that's a good thing to have so that you don't have to make sure there's uh, enough keys right there. So again, um, thank you for your time. We do want to remind you, make sure that you have good quality locks on your homes and lock it up uh, before you go. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you.